What's going on traders? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're bringing you the daily update on GameStop and AMC and why this 3.5 million share offering for GameStop is possibly a positive catalyst and such a brilliant move. We'll talk about that. But first, let's talk about the market. The market, guys, is literally roaring. The definition of stocks only go up. SPY, S&P 500, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average literally hit new highs and they do not seem like they're going to be stopping unless... Powell says something otherwise on Wednesday. We have the job growth that came out, the report that came out in March. One of the best reports in the last seven months. We have Powell speaking on Wednesday about inflation and interest rates, which can be kind of shaky after the 1.9 trillion aid package, the 2.3 trillion infrastructure bill, and why the Federal Reserve, the central bank, why they might raise interest rates before their target of 2023. That's a big question right now. But stocks don't seem to care with the 1.7 uh, to 10 year yield still maintained at that same price we're not dropping and we might even hit two percent but like i said stocks don't care now let's talk about this 3.5 million share offering that quite frankly it was overdue we saw this coming we've already speculated the offering coming just like amc took advantage back in january gamestop is stepping up to raise some capital with the max being one billion dollars or no more than 3.5 million shares which after some simple math totals out to 285 dollars a share the thing is there is no date there is no date to when they're going to have the offering or where they're going to have the sale, but they're, my, they're likely anticipating a squeeze as well. This 3.5 million share signals to me that Ryan Cohen, GameStop, cares about not screwing us retail, us holders, over 3.5 million does not kill the squeeze. Who knows how many hundreds of millions of FTDs there are out there? 100 million, 200 million, no one really knows synthetic shares as well. No one truly knows. This is just a drop in the bucket. Cohen knows they're gonna need some cash to pay off their debt and accelerate this e-commerce transformation. They're gonna need some money, baby. Their chief merchandising officer stepped down. Why is this great? Bring in some new blood, bring in some fresh talent. Like we talked about, if GameStop is going to revamp and create that brand, that cult-like following brand that Tesla has that I believe GameStop is headed towards, they're gonna need some talent and they're gonna need to tap into culture in which they have been dominating. They've been destroying it. They've been killing it. If you haven't checked out their website, check out GameStop's website, check out their Twitter. They are on top of the culture. They are on top of social media, which is definitely a huge factor in this e-com transformation. AMC, on the other hand, LALC, baby, today, we're moving from 25% to 50% capacity. And analyst Eric Wold raised his price target, his rating, from a neutral to a buy, a price target of $13. Why? Because people are getting out of the house. They want to get out. They want to go see a movie. And this was very apparent with the numbers. Men, women lie, but numbers don't. Kong vs. Godzilla, which I saw over the weekend, which is an amazing movie. You want to save AMC, go watch this movie. Brought in $48.5 million over the five-day weekend versus $47.8 million um, that Godzilla, King of Monsters, brought back in May of 2019. What's the difference? May 2019, we were open at 100% capacity. Today, we are barely opening up at 25, 50% capacity. And we're bringing in these numbers, which again goes to show people want to go out. This is literally for the doubters who said people are not going to go watch movies. AMC is dead. This is for you, man. People are going to go out. They want to go out and they will continue to go out. Like Adam Aaron said on Fox News earlier, vaccinations also play a huge important role in bringing confidence into people and bringing people to the seats in the theaters and adam aaron again just like with kramer on cnbc on thursday brought up the 500 million share dilution and which straight from her words he said not that we will use an amount like that anytime soon just like cohen just like gamestop just like amc it leads me to believe that these people are waiting for a squeeze in order to be able to dilute they're just like you and me they're still waiting for the squeeze the ball's on our court man we have to vote no. I do not want this to pass. Absolutely, I do not want to get 100 plus percent dilution. 500 million shares. That's 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 a ridiculous number. I don't like that. It does not sit right with me. It shouldn't sit right with you. Go out, vote. If you haven't got that number, um, your control number. First of all, don't give it out. There's a scam out there. Do not give your control number. If you don't have the voting email, reach out to your broker and vote now before May 4th. Now for some technical analysis. For GameStop, what a beautiful rally we had this recovery after the 155 pre-market low after the announcement of the 3.5 million share dilution. We literally ate up that news. It was nothing. This 3.5 million share dilution, it's nothing. And the flood that was created with these headlines is so misleading. CNBC, the Molly Fool, so misleading. And the stock showed the strength, literally bouncing back to Thursday levels. We're still seeing that resistance here at 200. But after we've had the dilution out of the way, 
We're hoping for a 200 plus close tomorrow. And hopefully by the end of the week, we've broken out past 200 and retesting the 250 level. For AMC on the four hour, one pattern I've noticed is obviously that range, that wedge we've been trading with resistance being right around $12 and support being right around 950s or so. Or I guess you can say, the double bottom at the SMA at $9 is a pretty decent support level, but we're back in the same range, guys. Same wedge. And one thing I've noticed with AMC is if you look back, every single spike we've had is followed by a healthy pullback before the next rally up. So one, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth time we've pushed up above aggressively on the four hour. What can we expect tomorrow? A possible pullback to a new support level at $10. I don't know. I'm just going to base off the technicals, base off the history we, we see here and AMC shows us. That's exactly possibly what we can expect. Also, keep in mind what happened last Thursday with AMC GameStop. They've separated. They really haven't been following each other. But if you look at the one minute and the one minute for GameStop and AMC, today they're, they're pretty much similar at, um, on the pushes, on the rallies. But, of course, GameStop closed red and, and AMC closed green. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, make sure you watch the overall index. I can't stress that enough. Such a bullish day. It's such amazing to look at your portfolio and it's just flaring green. But... With the green days being earned, we have to be able to handle the red days. So, with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow for another video, uh, pre-market, another live stream. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you snap a like. It really helps out with the channel tremendously. With that being said, I will see you guys pre-market for another live stream. Peace out, team.